Following the easing of pandemic-induced lockdowns last year, the adventure bike segment has continued to achieve remarkable sales figures in 2023. It appears that this trend is showing no signs of slowing down anytime soon, and it's not difficult to understand why. After extended periods of being cooped up, the desire to break free and explore uncharted territories has gripped everyone. While the spotlight has been on the big, technologically advanced, and increasingly expensive adventure bikes with multiple cylinders, it's important to note that you don't necessarily require all these bells and whistles to escape into the wild. Our selection of budget-friendly adventure motorcycles demonstrates that you can still have capability without emptying your wallet, as long as you consider factors like ground clearance, suspension travel, and comfort. There has never been a more opportune moment to acquire a new adventure bike, and with an abundance of options available, you're bound to discover something that fits your budget perfectly. Despite facing criticism for its weight and power, the Himalayan has maintained its status as a budget-friendly favorite for light-duty off-roading since it entered the US market in 2018. It continues to attract enthusiasts seeking simplicity, accessibility, and above-average off-road capabilities, all wrapped up in an affordable price. In its core design, the 2023 Himalayan remains largely unchanged. Powering it is the same 411 cubic centimeter single-cylinder engine, which, despite its modest output of 24.3 horsepower at 6,500 rpm and 23.6 pound FT of peak torque, exhibits a tractor-like ability to navigate through almost any obstacle. Up front, a 41mm telescopic fork with 7.9 inches of travel is connected to a 21-inch spoked wheel, while a monoshock at the rear end offers 7.1 inches of travel. With a generous 4-gallon fuel tank, your adventures won't be cut short, and the dual-channel ABS adds a layer of safety that can be deactivated when needed. Last year, the bike received a few updates, including the addition of the Tripper Navigation Unit to the instrument cluster, a new seat cushion, a redesigned windscreen, and slimmer racks. However, the Himalayan's low center of gravity and suspension setup continue to provide a well-controlled ride that handles diverse terrain surprisingly well, even though it tips the scales at a somewhat hefty 439 pounds. With more than sufficient ground clearance at 8.6 inches, it can conquer rough roads, dirt tracks, and most obstacles. While it does have its limitations, the Royal Enfield Himalayan consistently outperforms its weight class. Kawasaki's Versus X300, smaller and slightly lighter than the Himalayan, offers a compelling package of lively performance, stable handling, and comfortable ergonomics at an affordable price. It's one of the smallest displacement adventure touring motorcycles available, making it approachable for beginners while still holding appeal for riders of all skill levels due to its off-road potential. The key to its versatility is the linear and mild-mannered power generated by the two-cylinder liquid-cooled 296 cubic centimeters engine. This power delivery makes the bike easy to manage, especially in low-traction off-road situations. The short gearing is advantageous for navigating challenging trails but can feel a bit busy when riding at higher speeds. The 32.3 horsepower at 11,370 rpm provides adequate power to maneuver through most tight spots, although the peak torque of 16.7 pound FT might feel underwhelming at times, considering the bike's weight of over 400 pounds. With a ground clearance of 7.1 inches, the Versus X300 allows for adventurous off-road excursions, although more off-road focused tires would be advisable for the 19 and 17 inch wheels. The non-adjustable fork offers 5.1 inches of travel, and the preload adjustable shock provides 5.8 inches, both of which handle low-level bumps reasonably well. The bike boasts a reasonable seat height at 32.3 inches, lower than some competitors like the KTM 390 Adventure and Honda CB500X. Its sure-footed handling, user-friendly power band, an attractive price point position the Versus X300 as a well-balanced option in the small-bore adventure motorcycle category, even if it leans slightly more toward on-road performance. 
The Honda CB500X, often described as affordable, surprisingly capable, and versatile by numerous editors, has rightfully earned its place on this list. In 2022, it received significant updates that enhance its appeal to budget-conscious adventurers. These updates include revised fuel injection settings, an upgraded inverted Showa 41mm SFF BP fork, improved brakes, and lightweight wheels with thinner spokes, all contributing to its improved performance. At the heart of the CB500X is Honda's reliable 471 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled parallel twin engine, which delivers 42.62 horsepower at 8,430 rpm and 29.26 pound FT of torque, providing adequate power for a bike weighing 439 pounds, claimed weight. This engine has received acclaim for its smoothness and throttle response, making it an attractive choice for off-road adventures. It is paired with an assist-slash-slipper clutch and a six-speed gearbox for efficient power management. While the fork offers a modest 5.9 inches of travel, the rear shock provides a more substantial 5.3 inches of travel with 9-position spring preload adjustability, enhancing its off-road capabilities. The CB500X features street-oriented 19 and 17-inch cast aluminum wheels fitted with trail pattern tires, and it comes equipped with standard ABS on both ends for added safety. However, one drawback is the limited availability of adventure-oriented accessories from Honda, which could enhance its off-road and adventure capabilities. While there are options like hand guards, a taller windscreen, and some luggage solutions, there's a notable absence of protective accessories like engine guards. If you are still watching our video, then consider it subscribing, thank you. If you ever needed an argument as to why small displacement does not necessarily make for a paltry feature set, the KTM Adventure SW is ready for the debate. For 2023, the bike swapped out its previous cast wheels for lighter spoked hoops, still a 1917 combo, with aluminum rims to better navigate over gnarled roots and boulders on the trail. Otherwise, the more than capable 390 is relatively unchanged, with the same 373 cubic centimeters single engine found in the 390 Duke, good for a claimed 44 horsepower and 27 pound FT of torque, hung from a steel trellis frame and equipped with robust suspension components front and rear. That includes a WP Apex inverted fork and WP Apex shock out back, both adjustable, 6.7 inches of travel for the fork, 7.0 inches of travel shock. With a claimed dry weight of just 355 pounds, the littlest adventure should be a breeze to handle for almost any rider. The bike also has more than its share of wizardry, considering its small bore stature, last year we saw the addition of new street and off-road traction control modes to join the standard ride-by-wire, cornering ABS, linked off-road ABS, disengaged on the rear, reduced on the front, and a slipper clutch. Rider aid settings and the rest of usual info is all viewed on a 5-inch color TFT display. The bike also still treads on Continental TK70 tires and the windshield remains height adjustable, with two settings. The venerable Kawasaki KLR650, known for its do-it-all capability, ease of maintenance, and affordable price, has been a stalwart for over three decades. In 2023, it continues in the same spirit, offering four different trims to cater to a wider range of riders. At the heart of all these variants is a liquid-cooled 652 cubic centimeters single-cylinder engine that delivers predictable and manageable torque, ensuring good traction thanks to a heavy flywheel. The engine produces 34.6 horsepower at 5,900 rpm and 33.5 pound FT of torque at 4,700 rpm, as tested, with power delivery characterized by a linear curve. The gearbox remains a 5-speed unit, with tweaks made to enhance reliability. Although the KLR650 is still on the heavier side with a claimed weight of 461 pounds, including ABS, its steel frame and robust, long-travel suspension help compensate for its heft. 
The base KLR provides 8.3 inches of ground clearance, with 7.9 inches of travel from the front fork and 8 inches from the single rear shock. However, it's essential to note that it should not be treated as a lightweight enduro bike. In 2022, the KLR650 received several updates, including the introduction of fuel injection with a 40mm throttle body, revised intake and exhaust cams to boost midrange torque, and firmer suspension settings with revised chassis geometry for improved stability. For 2023, there are four trims available, all priced below $10,000. The base KLR650, without ABS, starts at $6,899. The new KLR650S model, designed with a shorter suspension and lower seat height for riders with shorter inseams, is also priced at $6,899. The KLR650 Traveler, which comes with a top case and ABS, is available for $7,599. The top-of-the-line KLR650 Adventure trim, our recommended choice, include side cases, fog lamps, frame sliders, and more. It's priced at $8,199 with ABS or $7,899 without. Suzuki's V-Strom series offers various displacements and trim levels, but the 650 XT model strikes an excellent balance between affordability and capability, making it our top choice. Powered by the familiar 645 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled 90-degree V-twin engine derived from the SV650, the V-Strom 650 platform offers a reliable, comfortable, and reasonably priced adventure motorcycle. In the XT trim, it even mimics the appearance of Suzuki's iconic DR Big Rally bike, featuring tubeless spoked wheels and hand guards. With a price tag below $10,000, it's a compelling package. The V-Strom 650 XT's 90-degree V-twin engine is praised for its smooth power delivery. The slim chassis and a relatively low weight of 476 pounds contribute to its ease of handling, even in adverse conditions. The standard V-Strom 650 comes with 10-spoke cast wheels, while the XT model boasts spoke-style wheels with tubeless tires, hand guards, and a protective lower engine cowl. While not loaded with advanced electronics, it does feature ABS, traction control, and ride-by-wire throttle, which are welcome additions. The suspension is simple yet effective, offering 5.9 inches of travel from the non-adjustable 43mm fork and 6.3 inches from the single shock. Even in XT trim, it retains 1917-inch street-biased wheels. For those looking to enhance their adventure experience, the 650 XT Adventure variant is available. This version includes a rugged accessory bar and 37L quick-release aluminum panniers for a slightly higher cost, providing a well-rounded adventure package. If you're in the market for a twin-cylinder adventure bike with genuine off-road capabilities for around $10,000, the Yamaha Tenera 700 should definitely be on your radar. It was one of the most highly anticipated new motorcycle models in the US in 2021 and continues to impress. The Tenera 700 utilizes the proven 689 cubic centimeters CP2 parallel twin engine from Yamaha's Naked MT-07. It's mounted in a lightweight tube steel frame and features a fully adjustable inverted fork, extra ground clearance, a proper ABS disable button, and a low weight of just 452 pounds. All of these features make the Tenera a straightforward and capable adventure bike ready to tackle any type of terrain. For 2024, the Tenera 700's chassis remains largely unchanged, with the same long travel suspension connected to a 21-inch spoked wheel in the front and an 18-inch wheel in the back. The engine is a real performer, producing 63.78 peak HP at 8,870 RPM and 44.09 pound FT of torque at 6,640 RPM, as measured on an in-house dyno. With a generous 8.3 inches of suspension travel at the front and an impressive 9.4 inches of ground clearance, 
the Tenera continues to offer excellent value in the middleweight adventure bike class. Key updates for 2024 include a new three-mode selectable ABS system, allowing riders to choose their level of braking intervention, a new 5-inch TFT dash, and pre-wiring for a quick shifter. While it lacks ride modes and traction control, the Tenera is designed to be accessible, affordable, and versatile for both on- and off-road riding, making it a compelling option for a wide range of riders. That's all for today's video, make sure to hit the like button thank you.